you know, in a world where, you know, video games take us to, you know, new planets and different places to explore because our lives are boring and, you know, Trump is president and everything is just, it just sucks. Everything just sucks, you know. There's got to be somebody, somebody to make some ambitious, you know, some cool games, bro. I'm going to give you my top three, you know, coolest or, you know, am most ambitious game in my opinion. So, games, you know, I got to use the plural term. So, my first game, this is in, you know, in order. This will be number three on the list. And that is, you know, because I couldn't think of any other, you know, ambitious games. So, you know, well, of course I could like Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto 6 or e even everywhere. But, um, I think that as I played it, I feel like this, uh, this man, he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, push the limits on the game, you know, maybe even make some more, uh, more game modes for it, and that is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, so, in this game, you know, it's like a King of the Kill match, it's almost like H1Z1 and Arma 3, uh, King of the Kill had a baby. So, basically, what you do in this game is you get dropped out of an airplane, and then you have to land in a good spot to find a bunch of guns on the ground, and then it's just a big PvP match from then on out. There are no respawns, or nothing of the sort, and, you know, you can play in either a group, uh, duos, or solo. So, it's pretty fun, and the gunplay is really nice on it, and actually, uh, the, I get really good frame rates on it, of course, you know, I have a pretty good P PC, but, uh, yeah, I really like the game, and I really enjoy it. Next up on the list, we got, of course, Star Citizen. So, in this game, their mission is pretty much to, you know, push the push the bounds in uh, space exploration games. Like, not, not like an Elite Dangerous game, but you know what No Man's Sky failed to do. And it even has an MMO aspect to it. So, so far, you can now buy the three modules and even Squadron 42, which is a story game. That's a completely different thing, but three modules which is the persistent universe the star marine and the like the racer i don't know what it's called but you like race spaceships in it so the persistent universe as it's not optimized well for you know the servers and stuff yet because there is quite a bit of server lag the uh, star marine actually doesn't have that bad server lag you know it's going to be kind of tough to get into a game because, you know, not a lot of people are playing it, I guess. I was waiting for, like, in two hours, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, it's a stretch. I wasn't waiting for that long. But this game, it's going to be pretty good whenever it comes out when it's fully released. If it is fully released. Because you'll be able to fly around the galaxy, map new places, have a job, a corporation, just like uh, Identity. And you can have delivery corporations and stuff like that where, you know, you, you get to exfoliate I don't know if that's the word that I should use but you get to um, do your own thing and kind of you can be a space pirate and the MMO really adds a lot to it because you can go out and explore new places with your friends become a, a amazing cartographer and the cartographer is pretty much a map maker so yeah that will go in my number two slot and drum roll please you guys already know what my number one thing is for the most ambitious game that I've ever seen in my entire life. And if you're like me, then you always wanted a game where you could roleplay, you know, uh, well, you don't even really have to roleplay in this, where you can just go do whatever you want, you can have a corporation. Uh, though it is a roleplaying game, you know, you can be a douchebag and kill whoever you want. Um, yeah, so, identity. Of course, you knew it was coming. Uh, I've talked to the devs, this game is going to be great. And there's a lot of speculation right now it, whether or not it's going to be a scam, and I still stand by the fact that I don't think that it's going to be a scam. Just because I've talked to the developers and, you know, they've given me pretty good answers on most of my stuff, and they're not just kind of blowing it off, you know, uh, trying to keep quiet. And also, I got a little update on the uh, trailer for it, so, yeah, Motown said that they're going to release it when they're ready, of course, you know that's obviously what they're gonna do but they said that they you know they want to make a good trailer because they only got one chance to get it right they don't want to mess that up like you know, no man's guy but um anyway that goes on my top my top most uh this is my most anticipated most arrogant game of them all um identity is gonna push the bounds man 
um, you, you can you can have a gang, and I've talked about a lot of this on my channel, and I'll throw some gameplay up there. Right now, all we have is the apartment video and a couple of overview trailers, but they will be adding more stuff in the future, and the modules are going to the module the town square module is going to come out soon. And if you want to buy that, you know, just go to the Identity RPG website, and they will have that on there for you to you know donate so you can get the founders pack. And the reason that goes in my top one spot is because, you know, I've been supporting this game for a long time now, and this is just all based on my opinion, so, I mean, you, you saw it coming, you saw it coming, you probably saw it in the thumbnail, but, you know, um, I think if Hitler had a favorite game, this would be his favorite game of them all, because, you know, Hitler, Hitler liked freedom, he liked the, you know, the freedom to do whatever he want, and, uh, I feel like, you know, he kind of showed us that, but, uh, yeah, I really think this is going to be one of the most ambitious and fun games of, you know, 2017, 2018, 2019, depends on when it comes out, we don't know yet, but yes, I, I can't wait for this game. If you guys did like this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, even drop a comment and subscribe. I do a lot of identity videos, started to do some Star Citizen stuff because I just got it, and I'll throw out some pub gameplay too. I really love Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, it's a fun game. And I even got to play with Atlas Horizon, which is another YouTuber who's got about 25,000 subs. Go ahead and go look him up. Uh, he live streams every every day around 6 o'clock. So, um, yeah, if you, if you enjoy this channel, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 300, man. Uh, I, I'm just going to shoot for 1,000 likes on this video. Go follow my Twitter and my Instagram. I love all of you guys the equal amount. And don't forget that I reply and read all the comments. So, you know, let's, let's shoot for a thousand likes. Uh, peace out, guys.